Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Ansel, and today we're talking about Suicide Squad, number 42. So, this is the second part in this story where Batman and Deadshot are working together in a prison break slash the fugitive story. Um, and that's precisely what the, 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 the one detail that I, that I find it is a little weird in this whole situation. Because Batman is helping Deadshot, Deadshot uh, in saving his daughter uh, again. Again, uh, from the hands, uh, from the claws, if you will, of the Cobra organization. Again, we have seen this before. This is happening again. This is like, uh, if, I, I mean, you could even call it a, a remake, um, but it has been said in the context of the comic uh, that it is the second time. So no, it's not like the previous time has been retconned, or like this is the previous time, but in a more developed way. It's like a sequel where the same thing happens. So it's like, it's like, it's like Taken. Um, but, but, but with Batman and Deadshot. Uh, so, uh, the, the original um, uh, occasion <laughs> where this happened, um, if you take that issue, that, that comic book issue where, where this happened the first time, a little out of the context of the comic book uh, to, uh, to, uh, to where it belongs, it could be very well considered a one shot. In, in my, in, 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 even it, it, it could have been a one shot. Like, hey, let's make a short story where Batman and Deadshot have to work together because Deadshot's daughter has been kidnapped and Bruce uh, uh, understands uh, the pain of losing a family member and he doesn't want this for anybody, including villains, and that's why he decides to help this uh, to help uh, to help Floyd. Um. Okay, but but that that's 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 good. It, it was a it was a nice story. It was a nice, as I said, quote unquote, uh, one shot. And now we have like the mini series version of that same story. But it is not a remake. It it is it, it, like a sequel that is also a remake, which is also something that we have seen in many movie franchises. Um. So I'm I'm not sure why why this is happening again. Why this had to happen again. Um. Maybe they just wanted to develop the story more, but maybe they could have done it without repeating the same thing. I mean, without kidnapping that short daughter again. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a writer, but I, I, I do believe that maybe a better way of having Batman and Deadshot working together again could have been found. Um, also, this could have been very well being a mini-series, separate from anything else, but because right now Deadshot is a protagonist uh, in, in, in Suicide Squad, it is basically the only comic book currently being published by DC, in the, at least in the main group, that has Deadshot in, in it. Uh, it was like the, the place where they could do it. Uh, so yeah, that, that 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 is weird. But I do like this combo. I do I do like Batman and Deadshot working together. Maybe too many times it happens where Deadshot wants to kill somebody, and Batman is like, uh, "No killing. If you kill somebody, you're on your own." That's like my Batman voice to deal with it. Uh, so yeah, I. I it happened in the one shot, and it's happening here again. Um, like every, like I don't know, like every ten pages. I mean, we get it, we get it. That's, that's a killer. Batman hates killing, so they are not going, are not going to be on the same page with that. But we don't have to, we don't need to see it too often, so they could uh, uh, take it down a notch. Um, oh, another thing that I do enjoy is that uh, something that we didn't really have much in the first version of this story, that is uh, that they are being haunted by Amanda Waller. Because, as I said, this is like a prison break slash the fugitive-like story. And because Batman uh, helped Deadshot escape from Amanda Waller's prison. And as we know, Amanda Waller hates not being in control of something. And, and, and we all know that she and Batman are not really... Um, 
BFFs, you know. Uh, I think the, the animated series, the Justice League animated series, is the one medium where this was uh, most explicit. Uh, I really liked how Bruce and Amanda uh, usually interact in that show. Uh, we have seen, we haven't seen much of that in the comics and since the New Fifty Two in Rebirth. We have we have seen some of it, but not much, uh, not so much as I would have liked. But that's another thing. The, um, I do enjoy that they're being haunted. I like this <laughs> Harley, um, uh, Harley. Ah, I forgot his name right now. I can't believe that. Captain Boomerang. I'm, I'm just gonna go with the alias. Uh, Captain Boomerang and Harley Quinn's combination. It, it is very interesting. I like how Harley is having so much fun with this. Then again, she always is having so much fun with almost everything. But I know I feel it a little more particularly fun for her. Uh, or at least that's how I feel in it in, in, in this story. So um, I've been talking a lot about the structure of the story, its nature, and why and that it is happening again. I'm not really talking much about the plot itself, and that is because the plot itself is not really more. It doesn't. It doesn't have a real, a strong presence in this issue. I mean, uh, um, what I'm trying to say is that the plot don't doesn't advance much this time really advances a, a, a little bit so yeah i mean for 20 pages of batman and Deadshot working together to save that daughter and being haunted by amanda Waller's uh, people not much of any of it happens or it is um stretched out throughout too many pages so in summary a lot of loss uh, uh, that i think will be um handled in a better way uh, at the very least, the art is, is, is nice for all, for all the situation, and as I've been saying, I really love the two the Batman together and how the Batman is empathizing with what is happening with Deadshot and how he understands uh, because uh, because I I really feel that he is he is he is, uh, he is actually understanding uh, why uh, I mean not the details of course but why Batman is helping him so that 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 is that is nice so yeah i'm in the middle with this so i'm gonna have to give it a batman and a dead shot out of five characters with a slash of a third character that i'm just gonna choose harley for that because i like her um uh, so yeah not really sure about this maybe we'll get better in the next few issues of this uh sequel slash remake of the previous story uh, which so far i i, I like the most I, I like better so well, what do you think what do you guys think about this uh, situation do you think is is it is um being well handled do you think it will um become better i don't know let me know that's why the comment section is, is uh, down below and also down below there is this thing uh, that is called the like button you can click it just to to see how it is how, how, how it works but maybe maybe something happens when you do it maybe 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 it doesn't but maybe it does so thank you again and i'll see you guys next time Thank you.